Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. Solar panels coming online. As they come online, I don't know if these will start using less power or not. But I'm gonna, I am gonna remove these. I think it's time to get rid of the thermal power stations. Their power load conversion rate is 80% on there. Uh, one of the... See, I'm down to 3.6 gigajoules. The solar panels coming back online, in theory, they should now start putting out a lot more power. There we go. Energy accumulated is 3.6. 3.62. It's starting to go back up, but these are still running. So power is the thing that we're going to look at. We are going to go to this right here, and I'm going to remove that one, and I'm going to remove that one like that. These power stations are now going to go offline. They're going to burn out everything that they've got in them, and then they will shut down. So that one is out, and boom, they're shutting down. Generation capacity is now saying 70 megawatts. These have got no fuel. That one's out. This one's going to go out as well. In order to cope with this, in order to be able to deal with this, we're going to change this around. You over here, you know, you've still got your last one there that you're using up now. Okay, no fuel left in them. They are empty. I'm happy enough to leave them where they are because you don't get to split them down into individual components, do you? you? All you can do, I think, is delete them. I don't think I can actually do anything else with them. I can pick them up off the ground, and then that's, that's about it, really. So I'll leave them there. Maybe we will get some more fuel for them a bit later on. Generation capacity at 64.7. I am increasing with the accumulators, but at night time, we're going to struggle we're not going to have enough. So what we're going to need to do, the accumulator capacity is not really something I need to worry about. But what I do want to do is I want to go and get some solar panels and I want to head back to those poles and I would like to increase what we've got sort of up there. So let me just um, shuffle that lot around. Then I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten stacks in there and they will start going through here now and making all of the solar panels back and they're actually going through pretty quickly at the moment because we've got plenty of materials coming in and i have also got right i can go up like that uh oh yeah i i can go up to the upper atmosphere like this well sort of I'm not going up to the upper atmosphere am I right we'll come over to here and we're going to extend this out unfortunately I don't have the landfill around the side on there to go and extend that out just yet so I want to go back now how did I ah there that's what I wanted to do I wanted to just Jump up like that so that I come out of, um, like, go into the fast fly mode just briefly. I want to go over here. I've got, I'll take a thousand of those and let them start building again. And I'm going to then go upper atmosphere like this. Right. I should need to try and find the pole now. That's... Apparently, easier said than done. Where is it? Uh, I had a grid in here as well, didn't I? I had a building. Alright. Let me go to power. Hold that. Right now, I've got the grid. Ah, there. What's this? That's not, that's, that's not actually what I'm after. Where is my... Oh, it's here. 
I went flying most of the way around the planet and completely missed that, but that's not the bit that I want at the moment. I do want to just land a minute so that I'm not causing myself any difficulties. I want that one there, and what I'd like to do is just bring that out around this circle all the way out like that. Just to, like, fill this up. There we go. That's looking pretty good, I think. And then we can go back into power and we can take these. So what I was doing previously was I was putting them down the main lines here all the way round. And then I was filling in the bits in between. So that's what I'm going to do with this line. And I'll go over here and I'll do the same over here. So there's a power pole right there that is actually in the way. So I want to just move you out of the way like that. Power here. Let's put you down there so that you're out of the way. There, that's, that's now out of the way. And then I can go and put this one right down there like that. Now, how many of these can I fit in? I go on that side, on that side, there, and there, and I'm not going to be able to fit two into here, but I'm also not going to be able to fit that one in exactly evenly in the middle either. That would be dead center, but it won't let me do dead center. It's out from the mid I, I, I really don't like that that's that's off on the grid the, the grid is wrong there is an error here on the grid this this is this is no good I need to reconfigure this I got an idea of how this can be fairly easily reconfigured so that's where it goes so I'll bring it over by one and then it would go there and I'll bring it over by one and that goes out to there, uh, one and one. Oh no, it doesn't fit at all. Right, okay, so that's no good. I want to remove that one and that one. And I want to go back into here. Put that one here. Put that one here. And then that one center. So I need to just leave a gap of one on the edge of each side. So we go there, we can put it, we leave a gap of one and then we move it round. I am overthinking this too much. I know, because, you know, I never come back up here. So I don't know why I'm bothering with all of this. But I am, and that's, that's just how we're going to do it. Uh, and then you go there. Alright, I don't really know what I did there. That that sort of came out slightly different. Maybe I did it a bit different. I, do, I, I don't really know. So uh, that one can go there and then... Oh, I don't think... I think I ended up, like, moving one of them over and then the other one's not, possibly. This... Yeah. Right, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Put you here and then move you over by one. I don't think I moved the other one over by one, did I? That's, that's where we went wrong with it. And put you there. And put you there. Right, there is a, another circle all the way round, and then if I have a look in here, I have still got an awful lot of solar panels. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks. I must have already been carrying 20 of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I picked up 200. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've put down 24. I was already carrying some. Uh, what I'm not going to be able to do is I'm not going to be able to put another full circle because I've got a stone, I've got a reserve of stone down over there. So we're going to have to kind of leave that bit. I will put this down as tight to there as I possibly can. And I will bring it over here and we'll do the same on this one. So this, this is going to kind of like start messing things up now because I can't go and use the bit over there where the stone is it's it's gonna like mess up all of our beautiful beautiful patterns but never mind we'll just now start putting them round in a circle start bringing them round like this there 
And I, I've got to go over to the other pole, and I've got to go and do much the same down there. So I, I, I'm, I'm guessing, like, we, we, we just kind of just keep running around here, like this. Uh, there, like that. And this is all I need to do, is just keep going around the edge. And yes, I have gone and got the ones on the exact lines coming out up there, which I probably shouldn't have done, because they're going to be in the way, but... You know what? We won't worry about it on the next one. On the other pole, we won't worry about it. We will just keep it here on this one, though. And you to there. And then you can go to there. And then I won't do any more on that one. I'll leave enough room to put some stone extraction going there. And then this one. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven over to there, and we will stop. So we've got 147 left. One solar panel, intensity 98 on there. I got generation capacity of 41.9, accumulators discharging 9.7. So we are generating some power, but probably not quite enough just at the moment. If I have a look in here, a solar panel produces 360 kilowatts. I mean, in theory, I should be producing a decent amount of power from this lot. Let's go to the next pole and fly all the way around over to the other side of the planet. Oops. Core energy will deplete soon. Right. I land with a bounce just here, and I need to load up the chamber again. So let's dump those in like that, and then I can go here with this. Now, I've only got 42,000 on landfill, so I kind of want to be a little bit careful putting this around. I've got plenty of tiles for doing it, but the actual soil pile there is... 20k left. There's, there's not a lot, although I've filled up most of the deep ocean now. This one here, we've got a little bit of light coming on this, so I think like the season is starting to change, maybe. Is that how it works? 100% sure. But if I fill that in, and then come over to this side, and I will fill this bit in here as well. I've got 6,000 soil pile, 5,000. I've got enough just to fill that bit in like that. And now we can go with the solar panels. And I'm not going to worry too much about like making the pretty pattern like I did last time. We'll just hurry up and get this done. So we will just walk around in a circle, plonking these things down. All the way around until I run out, essentially. I know that we've we've got an axial tilt on this planet of is it about 2%, is it? So in theory, regardless of the season, we should still be getting power from this place. Okay, you need to go. Let me have a look at that a minute. Uh, map. Right, Capella, right there. Planet's axial inclination is 15%. Right. So, in theory, I believe... They're not always going to be in daylight. See that coming over to there? Although they are both in daylight at the moment. Some of these panels here aren't actually in daylight. But if I get a big enough collection of them down here, then it shouldn't be any kind of a problem for us. I just want to now keep going on round the circle like this. Uh, I will pop down... Oh, actually, they're close enough to... that We've, we've got connection to the, the power grid, so that, that's going to be fine. Um, it's up on that line there. Okay, we'll just keep going on round this line now. Like this. All the way around, producing as many of these as we possibly can. Like that. So do I just go and put down everything all on this one? I'm kind of thinking that I might. I might now just go on and 
only put them down on this pole here and ignore the other one because the other one's got the stone in the way. This one doesn't have anything in the way and this one's also further away from any of the building that we've been doing. So it should, in theory, make it easier to just keep placing down more concentric rings of solar panels. So we will stay here until we've put down all of the ones that we've got, which is another hundred solar panels, which is going to take a minute or two, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, this next circle that I'm doing is taking quite a while. I've managed to get 50 panels down so far. And I'm just slowly working my way around this circle there. 53 left, 52. And one more can squeeze into there. So that leaves me with 49 panels. We have got quite the array of panels on here now. It's starting to look really good. And we get another lock coming down here like this. And then I will move on round again around the circle. And this is taking a minute or two. But I absolutely do think that this is going to be worth the effort. Right, covering this pole here. At the moment, this one seems to be in a winter phase. This pole up here. Right, we don't seem to have a lot of light on the panel array but at the same time it's still collecting light we are still seeing some of it in daytime so if the axial tilt is enough that we keep at least some of these panels in daylight at all times that's good enough for me I'm quite happy with that move on round a bit more and I've only got one line of power that comes out of this bit. I've got this massive, great, big solar array right here. With well over a hundred panels in it. And I get the impression that... See, I, I don't know. that The way this game works, at the moment we don't have any kind of maximum capacity for wires but it wouldn't surprise me if they do introduce some kind of limit on it uh, so maybe we would want something extra however uh, I think both Satisfactory and Factorio they don't at present have any limit well I, I see I don't know about Satisfactory because I haven't played that one for a while but certainly Factorio, there's no limit on what you can put on the wires on there. i got nine panels left. I'm thinking I'm going to leave that. I'm very pleased with that right there. I am very, very pleased with that, actually. That is quite phenomenal. So I'm going to look at that solar panel. All right, come out of construction mode. Look at. Let me look at the panel. I can look at that one. I might have to be over the top of them. I want to have a look at one that's like further away. Uh, intensity, 30%. Power load, 58 59% right there. Generation, capacity is 83 megawatts. Accumulator charging, 0 megawatts. Energy accumulated is 7.92 gigajoules. So I'm assuming that we do actually have our field of those already full and I said that this one was furthest away but I mean we've been creeping down towards it fairly successfully from up here so I'm no longer using over this side I'm no longer using these and I now have plenty of power that ensures that we don't need to actually be using those um, power stations anymore and I've actually got so much power coming in from the solar panels right now that I'm not even taking any energy out of the accumulator field that we've got up here, despite the fact that this solar field here is not being used. I have the other solar field being used, which is the one up here. It's up there. Both of the solar fields are generating power. So the two solar fields at the poles are both generating power. 
And that is enough power coming in along with the wind turbines that we've also got over there to keep everything running without actually having to use anything from the accumulators. Which I think is pretty impressive. I must say, I do believe that that is quite an impressive achievement. Now, you in here, your supply and demand, I've got one in storage in there. I've got a maximum of 5,000 there. I've got all 5,000 diamonds in there that have now been transported over. This up on this side, we are waiting for these materials up over here. I'm making... Now, the, the problem that we got here is that this is splitting this out. Right, we've got the silicon being made over here and now it's being split out between more solar panels over this side. I'm going to dump nine of them in there. And they're going to take a while to fill those back up with solar panels. But I'm going to leave them because we could be glad of... Actually, I don't know if we would be. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to move that back down to five stacks in there. And then I'm going to move this over like that. I'm going to dump those in there and there. So I'm only going to make 17 more. That'll give me 100 solar panels in total that I can go and build something with. Which is less than what I've just gone and used up, admittedly. But that will then focus the silicon back over here. And we can look at increasing the amount of silicon that we're producing later. We won't worry about it just at the moment. Now, I also have... Another thing here that is making the circuit boards, which is something that I was going to want. I got circuit boards there, and I actually put a thing here to demand circuit boards. And there I got 1,200 of the microcrystalline components all coming in together. So I don't think I need to actually worry about these right here but what i'm sort of thinking is actually, have we got a faster uh, production facility yet we did didn't we? we yes we have we've got a level two of these so i'm gonna make one of them it's not a great big thing but i'd like to upgrade actually yes i can i can do it i can do this one right here and then i can upgrade that sorter right there not the sorter the assembly machine Right, we get rid of this, and then we look in there, and we'll, actually, let's just land on the ground a minute, like that. And I've got you right in there, so I want that one, and I want to just upgrade that machine like that. And then what I also want to do is I want to upgrade conveyor belt. Upgrade that one, and I want to upgrade that one like that. So I've got upgrades on these, I'm not going to worry about anything else. But that should allow me to go and make those just a little bit faster. I've got this one in here, which is going to be pulling stuff off. And it can use it in there. I'm also going to need them for the matrix in there. Uh, I don't know what the best way to do this bit is. I've got a, a nice lot of storage in there for them. I do wonder if I should try and have a second one here. I can do that easily enough. I can pop one in there. Actually, yes, let's do that. And we'll have a, another green one. We'll have a fast we'll have a, a fast machine in here and we'll make one of them. So we'll just let that one build and then I'll drop it in here. All I'm gonna do before I actually get onto that is I'm gonna clear this. That's gonna go there and that's gonna go. And then I'm gonna remove the belt back to here, which going to remove all of the belt right in there like that. And then I'm going to go to production, and I'm going to take this one, and it's going to drop right there like that. We will then go to logistics, and we will take just a regular belt out of here. That's going to pop up there like that. It's going to go along this way, and it's going to stop there. I'm then going to have... Uh, this is going to be removed. That's going to be removed. I'm going to take logistics belt here. That's going to go. That can't join in onto that one. I've got to change this belt slightly. That's easy enough, though. I bring that back over this way a bit, and then we'll drop it back down to the ground again. In the meantime, I will have that belt and I will just move it along there just a little tiny bit further so that it's just out of the way. 
I've got storage on there. So we're just going to do a straight connection between these two. And have a green one there. And that's going to go from there. And it's going to go into there like that. Right. You, I'm going to copy that recipe. And I'm going to paste it into there. So I've got the copper coming in here. It's going to be nice and fast. And I'm going to want the same thing happening here. That one is going to join into there, and that one's going to join into there. Right, they're going to be going quickly. And then I will take this one. And that one will go over there like that, and then it will go up and it will join onto that up there like that. Ideal. And now I can go and take these. I'll just have a... You know what, let's have a Mark II sorter. We got Mark II and everything else. And I'll pop that one out onto there. And I'll pop you out onto there as well. So now I got double this. We, we've sped that up a little bit. Which means that I've then got them coming out of here. And I've got a little tiny bit of a supply that can go into this one. So that one there is not going to be demand. That one's going to be supply for anything that might happen to need it in the future. It doesn't need it right now, but it might do at some point. I will upgrade that outfeed bit, and then I will take a belt from here. That's going to go from that point, and it's going to run down over here some, somewhere like that. Um, just going to bring you to there angle too wide it shouldn't be too wide it should just go straight in like that there perfect and then back over this way uh, one of them and drop that out like that so it doesn't need any kind of filter it just pops those through and that will accumulate 5,000 of them into this large structure over here which I will then be able to use to go and make things uh, the oh wait no What was it that I wanted to... I've, uh, no, I don't want... I don't actually want that happening in there, do I? Because this only takes three... This is the problem with this. It only takes three items. And I'd like to... Or I already want to go and build something in here. Like, if we have a look at the map here a second, I need to go and get these organic crystals... I need those being shipped over to where the titanium is. And then I need them being delivered over here along with the diamonds that I've got in there. So the easiest way to do that is going to be to make... I could bring them out round. We could pick up the titanium and then we could build it here and not bother with the planetary thing or I could pull it out of that titanium crate right there bring it over here make it and drop it into this one and then have this as a supply for the titanium crystals in here which would be a better option so if I got that as a supply for the titanium crystals I need to go over here and this one needs to be demanding titanium crystals there and I also need to clear and reset. So that picks up all of those circuit boards for me. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.